Tonight, the Sioux Falls skyline is distinctly different, and a big sculpture in Kelloland is one step closer to being complete. Crews installed half of the Ark of Dreams this morning in downtown Sioux Falls, and what you see behind me right there is a time lapse one of our sky cams recorded. Kelloland's Nathan Finster spoke with the sculptor, who says he's glad the sculpture is finally getting installed. It's a big day for the city of Sioux Falls as half of the Ark of Dreams is installed downtown. Well, you know, it's, this is the culmination of about uh, five years of effort and uh, actually about a year and a half of actual fabrication. So it feels great. Feels Dale Lamphere is the sculptor of the Ark. He says this is the first time he's seen this half of the sculpture fully assembled. My first thought when I saw it rising into the air was how much bigger it was than I had imagined. I mean, this is my first time for seeing it as well. You know, it's always been in pieces. I've had a scale model that I've uh, developed all the ideas on, but to see it full scale is really a treat. Lamphere hopes the sculpture will inspire people who look at it. My hope is that it will serve as a, a, a landmark for Sioux Falls, an icon of Sioux Falls, and, and uh, I certainly hope that it inspires uh, future dreamers to pursue their dreams. And community members agree. I think it's just like many things that have been done down here. It's just so beautifully done. And it's and it's a good tourist attraction and also for the city people. We were talking on the way down here this morning how awesome Sioux Falls is and how incredible um, uh, the leaders that we've had through the years to be able to plan and to look ahead and to make the city what it is. We're very, very lucky to be here. The city hopes to get the other half of the sculpture installed by the end of June. In Sioux Falls, Nathan Finster, Kelloland News. Once completed, the article will be featured as part of the annual Sculpture Walk displays.